I would like to introduce Mr. Vishal Manik, who secured All India rank 48 in electrical branch and uh, All India rank 28 in instrumentation paper in GATE 2024. Vishal, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Vishal, it seems you have availed from AS Academy, the AS Academy classroom coaching at Hyderabad uh, Center for your GATE 2024 preparation. And also, it seems you availed uh, online test series also last year. Yes, sir. Okay. Vishal, uh, can you please tell your college name and when did you pass out? Sir, my call. I passed out in 2022 and my college name is Government College of Engineering, Aurangabad in Maharashtra. Okay. See, Vishal, you passed out in 2022. Yes, sir. Uh, did you give the GATE exam last year? Yes, sir. I appeared in last year also. Mm. Uh, in that year, I got 2700 rank in electrical. But I wanted to do my MTech from a, a premium college like IITs or IIC Bangalore. That's why I didn't apply for any counseling last year all. Okay, Vishal. See, last time you got a 2700, uh, 2700 rank in yes, the gate paper. This time, after the classroom classroom coaching at Hyderabad Center of AS Academy, you got a rank of 48 in the electrical and 28 in the instrumentation. Yes. Can you please uh, tell, what did you learn from your previous mistakes? How you have modified the your preparation and all this year that made you to be in the top? Sir, the two points which I can mention is that firstly, I didn't have the clarity in the concept in that much depth which is required for the gate. So the classroom course benefited me in that a lot because the teachers, the way they taught is completely in a gate driven direction. How much the content is needed is up to the mark. So. I didn't refer any extra reference books or anything. I completely trusted the notes. And the second one is sir, test series. Last year, one of my mistakes was I was not giving that much test series. And in this year, I have given approximately all the test series of A's. Whichever are there of 23 also, I gave sir and 24 also. I completed all the test series. Good, Vishal. Uh, Vishal, in your Hyderabad uh, A's classroom coaching, you who would have been, uh, I mean, attending the classes for, let us say, six hours or so daily. Yes, sir. So what you used to do after the classes? How you used to plan your study hours there? Yes, sir. In the morning, we used to have classes till the lunch time. After that, in the A's Academy only, I used to come for the study hours. I used to sit there till 8 o'clock. In the starting two hours, I used to revise the subjects which is taught in the same day. And after the two hours, I will solve the PYQs and the material provided by the AS for numerical practice. And if the time permits, I used to revise the previous subjects which is completed earlier on the same day. So you used to revise and prepare in the AS uh, study halls, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, AS yes, uh, provides the students some study halls for the preparation of the classes. Okay. So what about your feeling in the AS classroom coaching regarding this infrastructure, the AC rooms and then the, the smart boards, what you have in the classes. And sir, the can whole you tell something about this? Yes, sir. The whole environment is very nice and it's appealing to study the environment. It motivates because everyone there is working hard for a same goal. We, we can ask the doubts to our friends also. And also teachers are also available in the staff room so that we can go to them and ask the doubts and get it clear in the same day so that you will not be keep lagging on the next day. To understand and apart from that in the classes our faculty members use some uh, what you call videos and yes, some sir, animations sir. and the ppt on the smart board yes sir i like that very much in sir induction machines the sir used it very effectively to show the concepts of induction machi machines which is a little difficult to understand but with the animations it was quite easy sir okay good uh vishal See, in the classes, you used to prepare this, what you call running notes, right? Yes, sir. And apart from that, uh, did you also prepare any short notes for revision purpose? Yes, sir. In the later times, I started preparing the short notes. Means after two revisions, I started uh, making short notes only on the concepts which I'm not able to recall and only for the formulas. I just used to write which, whichever things are at most important to recall. Okay. See, when... Uh, 
uh, did your coaching complete and uh, how you used to practice the question bank, how you used to revise after the completion of the classroom coaching at Hyderabad? Sir, the uh, course was completed till December, first week. Uh, and sir, I completed my ACE material by then, the whole questions and everything. And till that time, almost I have completed my PYQ book also. The some hard questions which I was not able to solve, I tick mark them. And sir, the PYQ video solutions also was provided by ACE. So that for that questions, I referred that. I just saw the specific questions from the PYQ video lectures. And I again attempted the questions of PYQ for the second time, sir. Okay. See, in this uh, mock test, sir. so how yes, used sir. to uh, schedule this mock test along with your uh, preparations? Because sir, I used so to give the tests are there. So many mock yes, tests, sir. Other way tests are there, combination and their full length mock tests are there, right? How used to plan them according to preparation? Sir, I, as I said, I have taken the test series of 23 also and 24 also. So, the, sir, the first test series of subject test and the full length subject test, I was giving with the subjects only when the subjects were getting completed. At that time, I utilized that. And the 24 test series, while for the revision purpose, I was using it effectively. Means after revising the subjects or if even if I'm feeling a little bit less confident in that subject, I used to give the tests of that specific subject to gain the confidence. And sir, for full length, I used to give the test in the actual times only. When the schedule came, as the electrical paper was in afternoon, so I used to sit in that time only to give the test. Okay. In the mock test, where you used to stand rank-wise, full-length mock test? Sir, in the full-length mock test, in the starting, the numbers were not that high, but later on, I used to get a 20 to 30 in between 20 to 30 ranks, sir. Okay. Uh, Vishal, you passed out in the 2020-22. Finally, yes, you got ranked into 24, right? Almost a two years rigorous preparation you made. Yes, sir. Is it not? Okay. In this uh, rigorous preparation, sometimes you might get some pressure, some, some sort of stress, etc., disappointments, etc. In such case, how you used to bounce back? Sir, I will say the main motivation for me was my parents, sir. They always supported me. Even after my sir graduation, I got a placement job in Adani Electricity, in a core company. I left that job because I wanted to pursue my M.Tech. So they didn't even pressurize me to take the job. They always supported me. So that they knew I'm working hard. They saw my hard work. So they were always supporting me, sir. Okay, good. So... You are very thankful to your parents and your other friends who are instrumental in your success, is it? Yes, not? sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Vishal, uh, can you please tell some qualities that students uh, are supposed to have to crack this gate exam, particularly in the electrical engineering? Sir, I will say the first thing is consistency. Even if the good, I will say, sir, one thing that good things take time. For me, sir, last two years I wrote others exam also, but I was not able to clear. But in last year, sir, because of his, just as I finished his coaching, I had a BRC exam also, sir. I cleared that also. I appeared for its interview in February. I'm waiting for its result also. We have to, sir, continuously keep working hard. Even if it takes time, the good result will come. It will not disappoint in the long run. Okay. So student, how to be optimistic? Yes, sir. Right. So, very good, Vishal. We shall one Thank question so last. Uh, on, yes, one, one, one more question. See, in your electrical engineering, there are many subjects, is it not? Uh, yes, sir. From your experience, and if you see the past three, four years question papers also, can you name four or five subjects which are having very good uh, priority, very good scoring uh, nature in this gate exam, electrical branch? Sir, firstly, I will say that everyone must be good in aptitude and math, sir. People feel afraid of mathematics, but it's a uh, Easy subject if you keep practicing on it. And the other subjects which I will mention is network theory, control system, signal and system, and digital electronics. Even these are not the core subjects of electrical, but for scoring good marks in exam, these subjects are necessary. Okay, Vishal. With this 48th rank, I think you said earlier that you want to pursue. Yes, MTech, sir. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. Definitely you are going to get a, a premier college, a premier specialization. Which specialization are you looking forward to join? Sir, I'm trying to get into microelectronics and VLSI. Good. Sorry, in that domain, sir. Definitely you'll get in a premier college, Vishal. 
I once thank again you so congratulate much. you and thank you for uh, giving this interview. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.